I know we sometimes struggle with finding the perfect shade of blonde to match our skin tones or even our hair, so I'm going to show y'all how I custom made my own shade. Ugh, doesn't it look so pretty? Yeah. Ooh, so let's get straight into it. This was my first time trying out a custom blend. So I picked the prettiest shades of blonde and the longest length I could find. And I feel like Rastafi really did it for me. Both the color combo and it being 24 inches. So I got one pack of 127 ombre, 427 ombre, three packs of 27 613 ombre, one pack of 613, which you're seeing right now. And the last pack was um, one pack of platinum blonde. And it was about the right amount of packs for me and my hair, like all my hair, plus I wanted my braids to be knee length, so. And here's how the hair looks out the pack from top to bottom. Honestly, you could use any brand that you want, but like I said, these were the prettiest to me at my local beauty supply store, but you could find um, whatever works for you and at that is within budget too. So after some trial and error, this is the color setup I decided to go with to get this color combo. I mainly used 27613 as the chunk of it, and then I used 427 and 127 to give it some warmth and some golden undertones. And then the platinum blonde was to make it a tad bit, you know. Now this is the part that took me the longest because I was working with seven packs of hair, so I was blending all of that hair together to give me, you know, my desired effect. But um, again, this is my first time blending and I was inspired by Uche and her UK braider. So yeah, so I just started to stack the hair on top of each other and pull apart. Really, you really just want to give yourself enough time to really just blend. It doesn't really matter. It's, it's up to your taste. Let me say that. It's up to your taste how you want to blend it. But for me, I was just blending and blending and blending until like I felt like this is right for me. And here's a quick tip, when the hair starts to get messy or tangled, try to wrap it around your hands in like a super tight grip so that you're not pulling too much hair when you're brushing it with a paddle brush to like um, basically just untangle it. So wrap it around like twice in your hands if you can. And then another tip um, when starting out to achieve the color, make sure that you are starting with a very small batch first so that when you're not wasting hair, if you get to a color and you're not really satisfied with it, make sure that you're just starting small so that you know what you're working with and what color combo is going to give you your desired effect. Um, depending on the amount of hair you use per hair color, it could come out a whole different shade of blondes. For example, when I first started, I used equal parts of everything and not 127. So it was a little too icy for me and not warm enough. But towards the end, of me blending and mixing the hair when I only had 127 and 613 and platinum blonde, it gave me more of a sandy blonde, like a sandy blonde brown kind of look. So yeah, um, but honestly, you could get away with using just 127, uh, 27, 613, like that combo. But like I said, I wanted mine to be a little bit more dimensional and I'll show you guys how that looks braided towards the end as well. And I don't think I really talked about like a specific type of technique that I use to like blend. Honestly, I'm pulling apart and I'm like staggering the hair so that it's not ending up in the same position. Um, even flipping it on its like back or its front from the other stack of hair that I placed so that I'm getting the underside as well. That was kind of like my mentality of like, okay, just pull apart and switch, pull apart and flip, that kind of thing. But honestly, it's just a matter of blending child like you just blend 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 <laughs> and i honestly wish that i can give you guys a definitive number or the time and length that it took me to do the blend for this i would say like definitely don't plan to blend and braid your hair the same day <laughs> don't do that because yeah no that's not gonna work um but again i was going for knee length braids so that's crazy long um in my eyes and then also i have a lot of hair so i was working with all seven packs of hair so i was just blending everything and i'm also a perfectionist so i was making sure that they were blended like like puree girl blended blended <laughs> um 
so yeah so i honestly just put on a good tv show i was watching Grey's anatomy and i was just blending away until i could blend no more <laughs> i think i don't i feel like it took me like five hours honestly that's a ballpark measure i have no idea but definitely not the whole day And this is the final look, girl. So pretty, so dimensional. I wish I could have this color like in a wig, you know? I feel like that would be so pretty. But anyway, yeah, so this is what I did. I believe I made like 10 of these bundles out of the, the packs of hair that I had. Um, but yeah, so pretty. So of the 10 bundles I made, I believe we used seven. And then this was all the hair that I lost um, after blending, which is not bad, honestly, for my first time. So this is the color I was aiming for, right? The assignment in question. Look who understood it, period, period. In certain lights, she's golden. And then in other lights, she's like ash blonde. I love it, my mind. And can we get a little commotion for the braids in motion? Yes yes look at the dimension she's multifaceted in fact uh yeah <laughs> anyway um if you guys are looking for the exact brand and the shades i use it will be written in the description box below and i'll also be starting a hairstyles care series showing you guys how to care for your hair before while and after being in a hairstyle like braids faux locks etc so make sure to subscribe and watch my other content in the meantime and I hope you guys enjoyed my video. See you guys in the next one. And I know y'all are enamored with the color, baby. My skin and the hair. But don't forget to press subscribe. Okay? It's that little red button. Yep, go ahead. Go ahead. Scroll. Scroll. Mm-hmm. Exactly. Alright, bye.